So I'm currently recording my dual screen setup on screen now. Uh, there's quite a lot to go through. We've only got 34 minutes to the start of the next game. So I'm gonna take you through the most important parts, explain why they're important, why you must have them if you're trading football on screen or at least freely available to you. Everyone's got a different screen space, different uh, availability there. So you know, as long as you've got these things available to you and you know why, then uh, you should be down the right path. So to go to the right screen on my setup here, uh, I've got a few tabs at the top there. I'm going to fire through them. The first one's obviously the Betfair website. Now I just wanted to highlight a couple of things here. Uh, I've selected the Bournemouth Tottenham game. Um, I'm going to refresh uh, at the top there and you can see that look the market is updating very quickly uh, behind the scenes but you, you can't see that on Betfair's site and also down the bottom here they actually say look there's a warning because some of the information displayed on this page is not live um, and it's delayed so the first question you want to ask yourself is if you're looking to trade football properly and you want to find an advantage do you want to be looking at outdated information it just doesn't make sense um, so that's what we'll come on to on the left screen in a moment uh, after we've covered these tabs but the Betfair website uh, part is a good part to just overview the match before it starts just to get a rough idea to bring yourself on point you know what, what's the correct score expected where's the lowest price there that's going to tell you what overall the market is currently expecting to happen in this match you can see this one's quite open but I think you know one all draws a possibility uh, down at 8.6 and vice versa so there's a few other markets there so it's good to cast your eye over it but really, you don't want to be basing your trading decisions on the Betfair website alone. That would be foolish. You've got outdated information. It's very slow to refresh, and you've not got a full market view. So that is the problem, if you like. Um, why would you put yourself at a disadvantage to other people that are going to trade in this market too, i.e. me? So next tab at the top here, we've got Info Goal. I think a lot of people will be familiar with that. Uh, there's other videos on the YouTube channel which explain ex expected goals and stuff like that. Um, but I'm just going to give a brief overview. This is something that I would also have freely available to me. Uh, we've got the three matches here, um, which can become quite overwhelming too when there's too many matches to follow at the same time, which is something that I'm going to cover in this video too and why this set up caters for that. So we've got Bournemouth, Tottenham, Everton, Southampton here. So we click it, uh, it gives you lots of different stuff. We've got the overall summary and some, some bookies prices, the lineup uh, that's been released. Uh, stats for the match previously. Historically, you've got expected goals and stuff like that shown on there. Uh, percentages, and then there's a little bit of key information down the bottom here, which can be helpful sometimes. So that's info goal. Once the match kicks off, then this one updates, uh, and you'll see live match stats, you know, within a minute or two. So that's another good resource which I have freely available the whole time. Beyond that, we've got uh, soccerstats.com. Uh, that's got some extra stats here which can be useful too. Obviously, Premier League here, Tottenham and Bournemouth is the game we were looking at, wasn't it? So we've got, you know, how many goals have been scored in what position, uh, what points within the match? So zero to fifteen minutes, sixteen to thirty, yada yada. Uh, you've got that for home away and total so that's a good little resource to cast your eye over to and just to familiarize yourself now beyond this the easiest way to keep well say the easiest the fastest um, resource for information that you're going to have is the actual marketplace updating because Aside from being next to the match, it's the quickest feed. TV feeds are typically a couple of seconds behind. We'll talk about that in a second. Obviously, I can't show you a TV screen on a uh, TV feed on screen um, because the match isn't in play, and also there'll be copyright issues with that too. But these tabs here are good for overviewing information, stats, uh, things like that. And also, Info Goal will update the scores live once the match is on. But beyond that, you've got a site Flash Score. I mean, there are various other ones, but that's usually quite quick to update the current score lines, who's scored, what's happened within the match, red cards, etc., etc. So that's another one that I'd have freely available. And then beyond that, depending on which uh, games I'm zooming in on, I'll look at their various Twitter feeds. Squawker Football is another good one, just to give you some extra information. You can see here uh, there's a few tweets just about what's happening, but they will update live within the match a lot of the time too. Um, so Twitter can be a half decent resource for getting relatively quick information too. Uh, beyond that, um, we're going to look at the actual market itself over on the left screen now. Now this is where things become uh, a little bit more important. Now if you're not familiar with it already, this is the Geeks Toy 
software. There's various other applications available. And in fact, I'll show, just for the people that are not familiar with trading software, I'll show the similarities because it's probably looking at something a little bit alien right now if you've not seen this before. So look at this little box here, uh, Bournemouth v Tottenham, and you can see you've got your back and lay prices, much like the Betfair website. So let's move that over to the other screen just to, to show you. Uh, you can see, look, the price is there, four, 1.78 and 5 and here you've got look, 1.79 it's just changed 4 and 5. The difference is this is updating as it's happening you know every 200 milliseconds. The Betfair website is very slow as we previously said which can be a problem so you want live information but having a trading application of any kind is going to uh, allow you to have key information as it happens live. So if we go back to the other screen that's why I've got these little boxes down the side here, as I'll explain in a moment. Now, to the left, we've got what they call the Market Navigator. Uh, that's got various other features. I'm not gonna go through them. There's user guides and all kinds of stuff and, and other videos on the YouTube channel that will take you through that if needs be. But we've got 28 minutes and it's ticking down and you can see that look, everything's live. It's updating with uh, the current ping, uh, some extra information, some graphs and charts. Now this section here is called the ladders and that is gonna be my key area of focus once I've actually got a trade open in the market. Now at this point, it's worth mentioning there is an additional problem if you're looking to trade football and do it successfully because you can't always choose when opportunity appears in a match. So you might wanna choose the Bournemouth v Tottenham to trade but it's not necessarily going to be the match where a window of opportunity pops up for whatever reason. There's various different strategies you can employ. And in fact, there'll be a video in the, in the end screen of this video which explains some of those. But you can't choose which match that the opportunity happens in sometimes. So it's important to be able to overview several different matches at the same time providing they're going on at the same time, uh, all at once with some live information. And that's where this setup really comes into its own. So you can see on the, the right here, we've already shown you this box. This is Bournemouth v Tottenham's odds. Uh, now that is what I've got displayed here in the ladder interface. I'll show you how to bring that up in a second. But at the same time, I've got Everton v Southampton in this box with their current prices. I've got Aston Villa v Man United, that's obviously going for a bit later, this is for example purposes to show you. You've got to think on a Saturday afternoon there can be many many games going off all at the same time and you want to be able to track and trace all of them and if something happens there and then you can change to the market very quickly like this for example. So I'll close this one down, I'll go, oh, I want to see the ladder for this match and bang it's there. So we're now on the Everton v Southampton game. Close that down and I can go bam, show ladder, Aston Villa, Man United. Okay, and also you may have noticed at this point, over on the left here in the Market Navigator, there's a graph. Now this graph shows uh, which ladder column, these are different columns, there's one, there's two, there's three, okay. It shows which column you're hovering over, regardless of whether you're on the ladder interface here or the grid on the right. So we don't even have to open up these matches, and if we keep a look um, at the chart on the left in the market navigator when I hover over these prices it's going to change so we don't even have to open the markets up and it's giving us live information straight away now if a goal's gone in that graph is going to change drastically the price is going to move a lot um, these will come up bright red when they're suspended because of goals going on or, or a penalty or, or whatever so having all of this information available to you freely live updated in milliseconds is a huge advantage over the slow and clunky Betfair website where you can view one match at a time. Okay, so this is why professional football traders use software. Um, and a couple of other key points that I want to mention. Now, again, briefly, just for a few seconds, for people that haven't seen the ladder interface before, this is all the current money that's available on the lay side of Betfair for Man United, and this is the money that's available on the back side. So this is money that people can bet against, so they, they can back this on the exchange, and they can lay this on the exchange. So you can currently lay a 1.32. If I click this box, the bet will go in the market again, bam, instantly. Now, if it's in play, there'll still be the seconds delay to, to bet submit to the market. Uh, we can't get around that, but it allows us to bet live, basically, and very quickly, and make our mind up in the moment, giving us an advantage over everyone else using the website. To the right of the prices here, because the prices is in the center, 
Um, we've got lay bits available to back, back bits available to lay. To the right of that, we've got what they current, call the current traded volumes. Now, these bars show you how much money is matched at each price. So at 1.35, there's currently £194,000 has been matched at that price. Another key feature to having your software set up like this is you can see at the top here, when bets go in the market and they're matched, you'll see um, that it will come up on the traded volume. In fact, I'll just match a two pound lay bet now to show you exactly what I mean. So if I click the 1.32, you see that went straight in straight away and it showed on the chart at the top here where it was matched. It was a four pound match because it's a two pound lay and a two pound back. Uh, and you can see I've now got a profit and loss column. So if the price goes bigger, I can cash out for whatever figure at these prices. So if I click the, the four there, I could cash out for four pence. Obviously this is just a two pound stake to run you through why you know this setup is beneficial to you if you're looking to trade and cash out uh, and bet with uh, in-play strategy over using you know other setups. Now, at the top of this, uh, you can see that there's a total traded volume there, so there's £745,000 matched on Man United at this point in time. But the really interesting thing is, and I'm going to show you the settings here, if we right-click the ladder at the top, go Visual Settings, uh, we've got the last traded bar history. You can change how long uh, the different color bars show up on the screen. So at the moment, because there's such a vast amount of money matched, you can't see it. But I've got that set to 300 seconds. So when fresh bets come into the market, and they're very little at the moment, look, four pounds, it will show in a darker green. So if we can see the price is going in one direction, then there's gonna be a lot more darker green in a certain direction. So as the match picks up, as it gets close to the start, obviously we're hours away right now, um, then you can see where the money is flowing and what the market thinks, which can also be an advantage to your betting too. So it's important to have this kind of set up uh, from a professional angle. Now at this point, you know, if we were if we were trading and all the matches were going off live, they're not because they're not started yet, but we could go, hey, look, let's close this one down and let's look at a different match quickly. Okay, bam, bam, you're in. Okay, and we can track that information on the left the whole time. You can see the darker bars I was just talking about there. So you can see the price is currently moving upwards. Uh, that's been represented on the Betfair chart down the bottom there too. Okay, obviously some team news has come out. Maybe they're not starting with their strongest side. The prices drift. You can see all the money that's been uh, matched at these prices. And you can see currently people are going, no, the price should still be bigger. And so the market is voting for the price to get bigger. There's a total of £55,000 matched at this price. The dark bar showing you uh, the most recent money with inside those 300 seconds I was talking about. Now I want to go back to the other market and oops, I'll close that one uh, and open it up. That's because I want to hedge out my position. I don't really want that. So I'm going to hedge up for a one or two pence loss there. You can see at the top. So if Man United win, uh, I lose 2p. The draw, 1p, 1p. That's, that's essentially cash out. And it's that quick. Um, and you can choose the price at which you do that, providing the price moves to the price that you want. So there's extra information on the Market Navigator there. You can see the bets that have been matched. You can see them down the bottom. Um, but that is my trading setup. And the reason I have all of this available to me whilst I'm trading is because, you know, there might be an opportunity suddenly in the Villa match, uh, Southampton match. We want to flick around nice and quickly. We want to see all the information at our fingertips. We've got statistics over on the other side, uh, really handy tools such as Info Goal, uh, Soccer Stats, Flash Scores to monitor it live. And if there's any extra information um, coming up, you 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 know, you can cast your eye over Twitter too. So that is, in a nutshell, a dual screen for football trading and why you should have it set up in that way using the Betfair website where it's, you know, where the information is delayed as, delayed as they've said themselves down the bottom there is probably not a great idea because you could be seeing old information and quite frankly, it doesn't give you anywhere near the depth you have with a professional trading setup and some kind of software. The software used in this video is Geek's Toy. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below where you can go and check that out further.